Welcome to a sunny day in paradise, the capital city of Serbia, Belgrade. I'm off to see my French mate who owns an art gallery. I'm going to see how he got here, what he thinks of living in Belgrade, Serbia, and also to see what kind of food he eats, what's his favourite Serbian food. As always, I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I hope his choice of food is good. But being his French and the French like their food, I'm sure he won't let me down. The Belgrade Design District, where his gallery is, it's a hidden gem. It's one of my favourite places to hang out. I may have a rack here as well, you never know. Absolute beautiful weather sound in this city. It was snowing the other week, crazy. Okay, my friend is running late, so I'm at my favourite bar in Belgrade, Prince's Bar, so it'd be rude not to have a rakia, Givoli. Okay, Pascal's arrived. We're in the art room gallery in the Belgrade Design District. I know Pascal because actually he filmed his wife's shop before, which is the 1250 Gallery. I'll put the link in the description to that video. That's also in the Belgrade Design District. But yeah, it's good to be here. And I wanted to like shed a bit of light on what Pascal does. He's a very talented guy. And then we're going to have some Serbian food, some of his Serbian favourites. What he, he loves the Serbian food. He's all about that, aren't you? I know you are. Okay, so you've been here two years. Yeah. Um, so what exactly kind of art do you do? What's this called? This is called the abstract. Abstract uh, art. Okay. My name is Abstract Art. Yes. And uh, I do this now for five years. Right. Okay. Yes. And this is my little hobbit, we'll say. It's very interesting because we are in Belgrade, in ex Yugoslavia. Yeah. And it's full of energy, so this is very good for uh, artistic expression, looks like for yeah. painting. Yeah, yeah. So it's a mix of all the sensation about life, yeah. about uh, people, about relationship, and yes. give this in colors and in forms. Yeah. No, it's very groovy. I really do like the uh, artwork that you've got here. Really cool. So what made you get into art? Is it a passion you had in France or is it uh, a passion you discovered since you've been in Serbia? No, it's a passion. Uh, I start to painting when I met my wife. Yes, who's Serbian? And, uh, she's Serbian. And, uh, I start when we met, so it looks like five, six years. Right. And, uh, but before, when I was little, I... Uh, in my family, somebody yeah. was working in an art school. So when I was six, I was uh, all the time in some art school. Right, okay. In Strasbourg, and maybe yeah. this gave me this influence. Right. So art's always been a passion of yours from an early age. Oh, there's money on the floor. Oh, yes. that's, that's probably, no. what's that? How much is that? No, ten, no. ten dinars. Ten that's mine. <laughs> Cheers. I love that. <laughs> What's it like, the, the art scene in Belgrade? I know Johnny Depp has uh, come over and he does a bit of art and yes. uh, he's been pushing the, the scene. Um, what's it like here? A lot of creatives around this area I've noticed in the Belgrade Design District. Obviously yes. your wife being yes. one of them. No, you have a lot of uh, crea creative people in yeah. Serbia, but at the moment uh, I hope one time some big collectioner from west of Europe will yeah. come. To discover all this creativity but you have very uh, famous uh, artists yeah. from the ex-Yugoslavia so right uh, okay yes you have a lot but now the new generation need to have uh, some uh, focus about what yeah. they do yeah yeah and i hope in few years some people will come from london from barcelona from berlin to discover all this hard yeah. work well, I mean, Belgrade for me, it's an up and coming city. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of uh, buildings taking place, yes. uh, you know, the waterfronts, different yes. areas. I know it's controversial, yes. but for me, it's an up and coming city. There's a lot going on here. A lot of people travel to here. But some of these pieces here, where do you get the inspiration? Is it, is it from France? Is it from Serbia? Or is it just a, uh, is it a personal uh, thing? Or I mean, no, I, I know I'm putting you on the yes, spot. No, no, but no, after it's a lot of personal things, but in the same time, I have a lot of influence. Look, this is dropping. This is more uh, uh, Pollock style. And yeah. uh, you have a lot of, I 
I didn't make any new in uh, in abstract. It's just yeah. some feeling. Yeah. And uh, it's good because this gives you uh, a freedom when you are alone and you do what you yeah. want on the abstract. But it's cool. It's very uh, you're free. Yeah. You have no rules. So yeah. at the moment we are in a world, it's so many rules. So it, for me, it's a, my mm. little space of freedom. So yeah. it's what I like in this. And after people can, it's an open mind about the imaginary because now we are in a society, all it's picture, all it's uh, figurative. Yeah. In abstract, everybody can see what he wants. Yeah. Uh, I make things, sometimes you can see things or not. But people, when they see abstract, they free. Yeah. They see what they want. So it's my little uh, gift to the people to have this freedom view. Yeah. No, I, I can relate being a creative myself. We've got some really nice pieces here. Really, really good. Um, like I say, the inspiration of some of these, obviously different days. I can. Everyone's got a, an opinion on art and what it makes them feel. But I can see from the art pieces you've got here, you know, obviously different days you actually created these pieces, you had probably different uh, feeling. You yes, know, maybe. The, feeling can, the feeling of creativity can come from the family, from your culture, yeah. from this place where you are. Sometimes I make some painting when I listen to some podcasts, some interview, uh, some yeah. music and all this feeling. You try to transcribe this in some some painting. Yeah. So so and after in my family it's a mix. I'm uh, mix uh, French and mix. My mom comes from uh, Caraïbes, so maybe. Right. Uh, and it's for this I have all the time this passion about black and white for color. Yeah. Yeah. I can never decide uh, if black and white is better or color. Yeah. So maybe this is in some influence of my roots. Yes. Different roots. Well, white roots. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. So it's what actually made you open the shop. What was the inspiration? What made you take the leap of faith? For the start of the story was uh, on the start of the relationship with my wife. Yeah. Uh, so I was in Strasbourg and here mm. in Belgrade. And one time she mm. came in Strasbourg. Yeah. And she wanted to buy some uh, equipment, material, for uh, for her yeah yeah uh, ceramic and uh, finally she we, she asked me yes we can uh, find maybe an art shop so yeah my, my my stuff I say yes and for me I never went really in the art shop and when yeah. I saw the price because for a long time I want to make painting yeah some painting but I was all time thinking yeah maybe this is super expensive yeah and then when I went with her in the shop. Yeah. I saw finally for 40 euro you can have a little colors, little frame, little painting, yeah. little canvas. Yeah. And then I start. And finally, if she didn't want to go, enfin, to to go in this, if I didn't go in this shop, yeah, then we never start. Right. So That's finally, amazing. Uh, the time she was in Belgrade, I was in Strasbourg. So sometime for one month I didn't see her. So yeah. I start to painting when I have this time. I yeah. was thinking on her and I want to do something and then yeah. I start to painting. And then now I have maybe six, seven hundred painting in yeah. different style, paper, canva. Yeah. And then when I come here I say, okay, I didn't I didn't for the job it's very hard because it's yeah. not the same condition. And so I say, ah, I saw here some local, it's not very expensive. Mm -hmm. And so I start to make this little gallery. And that's it. Amazing. Very impressive. I really like this one over here. Um, just, just move. I mean, we've all got different tastes of, of uh, art yeah. in life, but I've noticed this one before, and I'm drawn to this one. Yes. Um, what's, what's the story behind that one? Uh, the story about this one, it's uh, about micro, uh, micro and yeah. macro. That means you can see cosmic, yes. cosmos. Yes. Or you can see quantic. That means this very, very, very little um, thing. So yeah. So it's it's uh, not between. It's two view. Or you see right. big, or you see very micro. micro right. View. Macro view or micro view. It's interesting about you can see different layers. Yeah. So this is. Uh, yeah, this is one I'm, I'm drawn to. I've seen this uh, before. I do like that piece. 
But like I say, they say art is subjective. Yeah. Everybody's got their own. Like I say, taste is the same as food. And food is which what we're going to go on to. Yeah. Obviously, you're French. There's a lot of good French cuisine. Yeah. I've, I've been to France. I've tried it. How, how are you getting on with the Serbian food? Serbian food is quality, super cool. Meat have a good taste. Uh, vegetable have a taste. We lose this in French. Now in Europe, yeah. they put so much things in the food. So yeah. you, have a, you have no taste. Here you can find nice tomato in the summer. You can find a nice beef. The beef have very good taste. Yeah. The, the, okay, you have this vegan. Then for the vegan side, yeah. Uh, yeah. fruits have good taste. Uh, uh, apricot. Uh, grape, all these things, yeah. it's very, the taste is very uh, fresh. fresh, fresh, yeah, I know what you mean. What's your favourite food in, in Serbia? I like uh, when yeah. it's grilled. Right, okay, so barbecue. Uh, barbecues, yes. Uh, Pieskaviska. Yes, voilà. Shevapi. Shevapi, yes. But you have a lot of things very good, but the name yeah. for me, it's difficult to say this. Right, so you, you uh, You've got a Serbian wife. How's, yes, how's your Serbian uh, language my getting Serbian on? It's very bad. Can you say Lovigenia and Hello, yes. bye, thank you. And yeah. But it's yeah. hard. It's very hard. Yeah. But I try. Yeah. I try. Oh, fair play to you. Fair yes. play. Oh, good stuff. Okay, well, me and Pascal, we're going to go to this little cool bakery now. I want to show you the bread there. And I've also got some little kind of cakes with Chvarci in it. Also, we're going to go and check out a real cool Pieskovitska place. You know I love Pieskovitska, so this is going to be epic. Okay, Pascal has took me to a little bakery called Charlie's. They do about six items on the menu here. One is called Pogda Chitsky, or... P I can't remember the name of the word now. Pog Pog Pogachitsky, you can maybe help me. But basically what it is, it's a little piece of bread and inside it's got chvarchi, which I really love. Chvarchi is like, um, we call pork scratches in England. But yeah, this is a very popular bakery and there's not much items left on the menu because we're coming late in the afternoon. Let's check it out. Okay, and here we go. I've got that little bread bun with a ciabatta in. So this is a, a favourite of yours, it Pascal, yeah? Well, oh, you're getting stuck right in there. <laughs> I like it. So you always eat this every day, or, or not? not? Every day, but uh, <laughs> when I want to eat, it's yeah. a favourite place. Very nice. Right. So okay, let's give it a try. Okay, let's give this the taste test. It's quite hard in texture. It's warm. This is going to be good. Yeah, you can taste the tomato in that. Get a close up of that inside. There's layers of pastry. Works really well this tomato in that bread. That bread is superb, very flaky. I'd say very warm. Good recommendation from Pascal. Cheers, mate. Okay, Pascal's also bought some bread from here. This is a gift. Well, I thought it was a gift for his friend, but he's eating it, so... Let's have a look at that. Let's have a close-up of that. That's really cool. Is it salt on that, or is it pepper? No, it's cumin. Cumin. Cumin? cumin. Oh, okay. And salty. That looks very interesting. Yes. Yeah, so they do like to say six items on the menu here at Charlie's. Well recommend a visit to this place. Very cool. Big thumbs up, Pascal. Mm. <laughs> so I'm walking down the busy high street in Belgrade, munching this, going everywhere. But yeah, this is a delight. I do like my Schwarzschi. If you like your Schwarzschi too, then I suggest you get one of these. Really, really good. Okay, Pascal's giving me a piece of the bread to try. Let's give this a whirl. That is really, really good. Crunchy texture. Salty, herb, nice salt kick on that. Yeah, that is a really, really good piece of bread. Definitely recommend Charlie's. Get yourself down there for some great bakery goods. Just a little side note, Charlie's closed at four, so get yourself down there early before everything sells out. Outstanding bakery. Okay, so we brought these items down to the pub for the guys to try. I just want to say also, these items, there was two what they call called? Pogachitsa. Pogachitsa. Two Pogachitsa. 
two bread croissants, it comes to 400 dinars. I really recommend you get some of this great traditional Serbian food. Check out this lovely spinach and cheese burek as well. How good does that look? Okay, let's give the burek a go. Nice crunchy burek. I love spinach and I love cheese. This is great also. Superb bakery. Okay, I'm now going to eat Piaskovitska. This is the name of the place. It's Stara Zupa. Pascal's recommended this. It's a great burger right here. So I can't wait to try this. Here's the menu here. You've got lots of choice. All different sizes, all different prices. I've gone for the Piaskovitska, which is 200 gram, 330 dinar. Bargain. Here we go. Here's a 200 gram Piaskovitska from Stara Zupa. You've got a nice toasted bun on top. I'll lift this up. Inside we've got cabbage, we've got onion, and we've got some sauce called, I think it's ubernets, which is quite spicy, which I really like. You've got a nice charred burger there. Really looking forward to trying this. This looks excellent. I've got to say also, it's 200 grams, but this fills the plate. It's an absolute whopper. Okay, let's give this burger a taste test. I do love my burgers, so I'm intrigued to try this one. Let's pick it up. It's a big hunk of meat. Let's give it a go. Look at this toasted bun. Really, really nice. That burger is absolutely outstanding. The meat is great. It's got nice char on the meat. Really like that. That ubernets, I think that's how you say it. Running through that burger with the onion, the cabbage, and that toasted bun. This is a grade A burger. Really, really good. I'm excited to give this another bite. Let's give it a go again. Man, that burger is an absolute winner. That meat, I can't get over it. Flame grilled, brilliant. For 330 dinars as well, I think that's a really good price. What do you think? I'm going to absolutely demolish this burger. So, so good. That's one of the best Pieskovitskas I've ever tried. That's no exaggeration. I've tried quite a few. And this, I've got to say, this could be number one. This Ubernet stuff, like I say, it's spicy. I don't know what's actually in it, but that's really good. I also forgot to say there's Kaimak in it as well, and that's really working well with this burger. Very, very tasty. Yeah, you can have different condiments on your burger, but I've noticed a lot of Serbs do have this Ubernets, this spicy stuff with Kaimak, cabbage and onions. So I want to keep it traditional, I want to keep it, you know, how the Serbs do. But obviously there's other Serbs out there who have different stuff as well. But for me, that's the condiments I go for, and it really works well with this burger. Like I say, everything about this burger is excellent. The toasted bun, the great tasting flame grilled meats, and like I say, the condiments on top as well, just top it off. Absolute superb. I need to give it another bite. Unbelievable. Burgers are always a winner for me. And this one, this, like I say, this is top notch. Get yourself down to Starazupa and order one of these. You won't regret it. Also, shout out to Amanya, top man. Okay, well, I'm going to finish the rest of this burger. It's been a good day today exploring. Get yourself down to the art room in the Belgrade Design District and say hello to Pascal. He's a top lad. Go and check out his artwork. Go to the bakery and go to Starazupa. I'll tell you what, unbelievable day. Love it. As always, if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jivali!